What's up guys and welcome to Tembo the Badass Elephant. This is a game releasing in a few days on July 21st. We're going to be doing a bit of a playthrough here for you guys. This is being made or has been made by Game Freak, the makers of Pokemon. So it's cool to see them do something that isn't Pokemon and do a really fun platformer. I've been playing a lot of this. It's really fun and it's really cool. But either way, we're going to head into it now. I do plan on releasing a review of the game once it releases on the 21st. But for now, we'll be playing the game just normally through a normal playthrough so why don't we just head right in it looks like another happy day in peanut town the citizens are having a good time and oh no gigantic robots oh my that's a face only a mother can love oh looks like army men are on the case go get them boys Uh oh are they too late looks like they are they're taking over the whole town what did these towns people do hmm there's only one way to solve this huh <laughs> is that it? It's the elephant. There he is. There's Dembo. Okay, so. Oh, wow. So he's like an action hero. He has a whole bunch of different moves. Okay, cool. <laughs> Phoning him in. Oh, well, there he is. Chilling in the jungle. <laughs> Phone in a tree. I love it. Hello, Dembo. We need your help. I'm an elephant. I can't speak English. <laughs> okay. So, Dembo is suiting up to beat up some bad guys. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, and we're into the game. Cool. So, Tembo is actually sort of a little bit of a mixture. It's a platformer, but it also sort of feels like a fighting game at times or a beat em up just because of how it controls. There's a lot of different combos, a lot of just different moves and stuff. It's overall a really fun game, though. I've been playing it so darn much, so <laughs> can't wait to be playing with you guys. He even has a little Yoshi flibble, flibble flap here. He's just all like, <laughs> I love it. It's so darn cute. But Tembo in general is just a super cute little elephant. I guess he isn't that little, but <laughs> definitely a cute elephant. Those first two things are true. Yeah, and it feels a lot like Donkey Kong. If you ever played like Donkey Kong Country or you know even the Return series of that, um, it feels very similar in a, you know like in a collecting sense. You know, there's a lot to collect. It's very challenging. It's definitely not an easy game. So it looks like we can do some uppercuts. So hoo <laughs> and our trunk turns into a hammer, <laughs> which is really cool. And here we got to do the same thing. So hoo there we go. And yep, let's keep going. The game is so pretty though, I love the jungle. <laughs> it makes me feel at home with all the zebras beating up the lions. <laughs> and now the elephants are gonna beat up some other bad guys too. <laughs> all right, let's keep going with this. So so we can like jump and then dive, and then we can, if we hold it, we can bounce a bit. So we're like a gigantic bowling ball of doom. <laughs> okay, and you might notice that we're picking up peanuts, which are basically are going to be our health. They're gonna give us lives. They're basically like coins to Mario, bananas to Donkey Kong. Pretty simple stuff, and we can also, uh, it's like a, t <laughs> I love it, because he's he's so like human-like in his movements. <laughs> All right, um, let's try to make this jump then. It looks like I need to hold square, and then jump. There we go, good stuff, and then boom, there we go. And this game is really, really tough, so I don't think I'll be doing a full 100% walkthrough, but I'll sort of explain what I will be unlocking soon. But for now, we just gotta spray around with our water trunk. It's pretty darn cool. But yeah, like I said, this is releasing on the PlayStation 4, uh, Xbox One, and PC, but there we go, good job, soldier. Training complete. We've made our way through the first mission. Oh, goodbye, my wife. I guess we're because Tembo's saying goodbye to her. See, <laughs> the birds fly him off. <laughs> this elephant's gone mobile, and he's on his way to the destroyed city. Oh, <laughs> they even set up a little landing station for him. Oh, here he comes, boom. He's such like an action hero, I love it so much. Okay, welcome to the Shell Army HQ, our base of operations, like a peanut shell. <laughs> I get it. Now then, briefing. This invading army calls itself Phantom. Your primary mission, destroy the three Phantom Domes, AKA the three huge vehicles that have invaded our fair city. Second mission, destroy all any enemy Phantom, AKA the knuckleheads in the skull masks and any object you think is associated with Phantom. Tertiary mission, rescue any civilians you find. Access a stage via the battlefield map here. You'll get the gist as you go, good luck. All right then, that's actually pretty darn cool. 
Now, um, I will probably be focusing on getting all of the civilians saved, but if you see, you can also um, destroy stuff and beat up guards and stuff, and that will give you the purple face points. And those are a little harder to get for whatever reason. Let's just hop right into Zone 1 Shell City and see how well we do. Okay, and we're here on the rooftop. I think this building might fall over if Tembo hangs out for too long. I mean, he is an elephant. I'm not trying to make jokes at his weight, but I mean, elephants are big animals. <laughs> I know, I, I'm from the jungle, I'm a zebra. It's a savannah, technically, but it, we're next to our neighbors. <laughs> Whoa, we just slammed, that was really cool. <laughs> All right then, so basically Tembo's really awesome because he can destroy a bunch of stuff, and like this purple stuff you can see here, it sort of um, got us some points on the top there, and there's 232 of those points that we can get throughout the level. For some reason, it feels like I get a different score every time, no matter how hard I try to get the 100%, I've only been able to get it for one level. So I'm gonna be trying to do it here, but my main focus is to show off where all of the civilians are. They'll be trapped like this, and then they chill out with us on top of us here. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, Tembo, I'm with you now, buddy. And they have like 10 of those per level, so we'll be trying to get them all. Can get some wild combos here, though. It plays like an arcade game, too, with all the combos and stuff. <laughs> We're getting some mad stuff right now. We'll get you two. There we go. Saved you and then get all this stuff. But yeah, like I said, this game gets super duper tough. It does remind me of like the Super Nintendo games when games were just like super hard all the time. No shortcuts, no cheat codes. Well, I guess sometimes they'd have cheat codes, but unless you had like some game magazine, you couldn't even find out what they were. All right, what is this? Ruse, ruse? <laughs> Australian cuisine. <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's take out this tank. Oh, come on, oh, ouch. Now, Tembo does have a health system you can see on the top left, but it is pretty darn easy to die in this game. I find myself dying a lot. So we gotta make sure we get, oh, oh wait, let me not destroy this. Um, Cause I can get up here and get this gigantic peanut, ready? No, oh, there we go, <laughs> awesome. So we already have six lives, which is pretty good. Now we could go down here, but we don't want to quite yet. We wanna go this way because there's actually some bonus stuff over here and that I know about. The city is so destroyed though. I feel so bad for the civilians who might've lived here. Now are just a, a victim of the harsh the harsh whatever's of war. I'm very poetic, can't you see? All right, let's go down here, and then, ooh, a checkpoint, cool. I also like the little comic book, like when like when you stop, it makes all like the comic book, <laughs> like sound effects, it's pretty cool. All right, so it looks like we're in the series. Ooh, stinky. <laughs> I don't wanna be down here. All right, oh, these guys are down here though. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. They're just dirty and stinky. <laughs> the slime balls. So it looks like there's a hidden wall back here. Oh, there is, cool. I haven't beat the game entirely, but I have gotten pretty close to it. All right, yep, there we go. I can't talk too much right now about the end of the game, but we can just say that I'm, I've been enjoying this first area a lot too. All right, hmm, boom, oh no. <laughs> Not quite what I wanted, I gotta get up there. And what is in this one? Oh, it's another person. Ew, you can see the, like the stink smoke going through the room. <laughs> so nasty, I wanna wanna be in here. I'm Tembo the elephant, I should be free. Some nice grassland or something. And I mean, a hero's gotta do what a hero's gotta do, right? Oh gosh, whoa, he's charging at me. Well, what happened there? Stop that. <laughs> okay, jump through here. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. I think that we've destroyed all the guys so far. The hard part is, you know, we destroyed a tank earlier. And what, what the hard part is, is that when you destroy the tank, sometimes, you know, the guys will hop out of the tank and sometimes they're, you know, really small, so it's hard to see them. Oh no, we missed a few peanuts. Uh-oh. <laughs> Luckily, the peanuts don't have anything to do with the um, completion. You can miss all those that you want. It might be harder, though, because you'll lose some lives. All right, let's take these guys down. They're all going down. Look at them. <laughs> They're a bunch of chumps. <laughs> all right. But our combo will actually give us more peanuts as well. So this is just one of the many games I'm excited for this year. I have to say, this year seems just like the glorious year of platformers. We have this game. We have N++ coming out later this month, just in about a week. Not only that, but we also have Mario Maker along with uh, Mighty Number no. 9. Just so many platformers, and seeing how platforming is just like my favorite genre, 2D or 3D, it's, it's just my favorite year of all time so far. It's pretty darn cool. Whoa, ouch, my face. Okay, so it looks like we're getting close to death. We need to be careful. So we can use our uh, little splashy here to take out these fire guys. Oh boy, <laughs> sporty ape. <laughs> I like it, because the art at sometimes, like with this ape, it sort of reminds me of like Adventure Time or something. All right, we got some health there. That's good. We got another one up too. So we got seven lives now, which we might need to use one soon. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, excuse me, sir. Uh, whoa, whoa. 
This game, I've noticed the more I play it, the more I realize this game is a lot easier. You know, the slower you go, it's a very slow and steady game, but it's also very rewarding and very fun to go like really fast with it. So there we go, take him out, <laughs> go home, buddy. So we've got 214, we're almost at that 232 in the top there. Let's see if we can't get it. Slam through all these guys and get that too. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna get it here. Boom, get this. Oh wow, we actually got it. Okay, the diligence is key. <laughs> That's a phantom freedom. <laughs> not anymore. Now we're the free ones. Okay then, so there's the first level complete along with the tutorial before that, so there we go. <laughs> People's hero, fantastic. Okay then, so stage one has been completed in zone one, and this game is just so much fun. In the next episode, we will be going to stage two, so I have to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. Your support really does matter for first episodes like this, so, Thank you so much if you do decide to support me at all. But if you've watched this point in the video, make sure you comment Zebra Elephant so I know that you've watched at the end of the video and that you're a Zebratastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.